Hello everyone, we are here with the part three, last part of this video series for offside manufacturing industrial automation about conveyor belt examples. And in this episode, this part three, we are going to be discussing about how to connect a PNP proximity sensor to the Siemens S7-1200 that is acting as your PLC. Um, what we are going to discuss today is about some basic concepts of syncing and sourcing, how to wire up your PNP sensor to the PLC, and also how to power up the in digital input modules on the S7-1200. Then we move on to explaining about what is PNP and NPN sensors and a bit of conclusion at the end for this last episode. So, syncing and sourcing simply refers to when for sourcing, whenever your device is sending out a positive signal out to other devices or to the load, uh, that is called a sourcing device. But um, syncing device is syncing the current into itself in order to be activated. Um, in a more articulated way, a sourcing device is a device uh, that supplies current to the load. In this case, the device provides a positive voltage and pushes current into the load of another component. Whereas um, a syncing device says that it's a, a device is syncing when it accepts current from the load. So the current goes inside this device and that device is being called a syncing device. The device, is, the device connects the load to a lower potential uh, typically ground, allowing current to flow from the load into the device. So that's how we say, and in this schematic as well, you can see that when a device is a sourcing device, the current goes out of the, uh, the device, but whenever the um, device is a sinking device, the current flows in the device. Okay, so finally, in the last part of this video series for industrial automation, offside manufacturing for construction businesses, we are at the point where the PLC is wired up completely. We could power up the PLC, the TO portal is already set up. And in this episode, last part of the video series, we are going to connect the proximity sensor and power up proximity sensor to get some inputs from the field instruments out in the field and then uh, bring them in the PLC so that the PLC can decide some sort of output let's say on this example of conveyor belts whenever the object is obstruct obstructing the front of this um, sensor proximity sensor now later on I'm going to explain what sort of um, proximity sensors are available in the market and how we can wire them up. Um, once something's in front of this proximity sensor, this is going to command it to the PLC that lets us stop the motor by sending a signal out to that motor. So these are output rails and input rails. So what we have to do is to connect this sensor somehow to this top part of the PLC S7 1200 made by Siemens. Bit of explanation here for you guys that uh, this particular part of, part, um, type of PLC is an AC DC relay module. So it, the whole CPU is powered by an AC input and um, the inputs, digital inputs are powered by DC current and these ones outputs are a relay. Um, S7-1200 has a built-in 24 DC output so you can get one of these um, outputs and just short it here really easy connect the M to 1M and M stands for the negative pole in um, German language M stands for Mose or Mose if I'm pronouncing it correctly what well, it means a negative pole Siemens is a German company no wonder that M is somehow related to a negative in their language. So if we connect M on this part to 1M, then all this rail is powered up. So I'm going to 
just cut a wire, repair it, connect it to M and come back. Okay, back again with this little wire. And if you're asking yourself that, why we're connecting everything to the negative pole is because the, the sensor we've got is a PNP module. We have PNP and NPN type sensors. PNPs are sending out a positive signal. Therefore, we need to make sure that all these input terminals are powered by are actually connected to the negative pole to complete the circuit so if the sensor is sending positive signal we need to make sure that the input modules are negative so that the circuit will be completed i'll show you the circuit graph schematics of the circuit whenever a pnp sensor is connected so that you have a better understanding of why this must be all connected to the negative pole and the way that you can connect the negative pole is just to make a short circuit between m and 1m on these two sides pnp and npn um sensors so in simple words pnp sensors are are the ones that are sending out a positive signal out to the uh, out to the PLC in our example, but an NPN sensor is the one that takes the current inside it. It, it. it sends a negative signal in some sort of sense to the PLC. So the flow of current in an NPN device is in a way that the current flows inside the sensor. But a PNP sensor is the one that sends a positive signal out from the sensor to the PLC. And if you like to know how to power up your PNP, how to connect your PNP sensor to this um, S7-1200, uh, this is schematic is pretty much how uh, you should be powering up your PNP sensor. We have a PNP sensor. The output signal is a sourcing signal which means that it sends a positive voltage to the sensor to the plc therefore your um digital inputs on s7 1200 must be connected to the negative pole of the power supply so there is as you can see the 1m is connected to a negative pole it's connected to the zero voltage of the power supply and um yeah that's pretty much it so it was, was all about what we can say at least at the moment about the, of course there are much more details if you like to move into automation area but this video series was just an effort to get you familiarized with the automation um principles especially PLC, what, is, what are the PNP and NPN, TR portal, how to wire up, how to power up. And um, you could find all sort of details in the past few episodes that we have scheduled to um, publish and make it available to. If you had any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. There are multiple ways you can contact the Institute, either via our website, emails, commenting down in the social media channels on Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn. There are multiple sort of ways you can contact us and we'll be more than happy to get engaged with you either as a industry partner or as, a, or as someone who likes to get just trained. And um, yeah, thank you again and have a nice day.